In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make tons of tokens in Season 8 of NBA 2K22, my team. The first way to make tokens is going to be through that Triple Threat Online game mode. It might not be the best. We'll talk about the best one later in the video. But a really, really, really good way to make tokens in Season 8 is going to be from TTO Online. As you guys can see on the boards, at the bottom board, you can get one token. In the middle board, you can get five tokens, three tokens. And then at the top board, you can get five and ten tokens. I would say in one board run, if you guys do play all 10 games i would say on average if you're just going for tokens you'll probably get somewhere between like 15 to 20 tokens that's probably at like a you know an average 15 to 20 tokens is probably what you'll see if you get a crate if you get crazy lucky maybe you'll see or 30 to 40 depending on how many of those 10 tokens you guys do get but overall tto online gonna be one of the best ways to make tokens in my team especially in season eight another really solid way is gonna be through the draft if you guys don't know at that top board on the draft there's just gonna be tons of tokens available i would say once again if you guys do play all 10 games in the draft i would say you can make somewhere around 15 to 30 tokens so obviously going to be another great way to earn tokens in season eight another game mode i feel like people don't talk about enough for earning tokens is just going to be through clutch time now yes clutch time it isn't the best game mode just for tokens specifically but as you guys grind clutch time you're grinding for that dark or that for the end game chris weber you're grinding for other rewards as well you i think you make like 175 tokens or i'm pretty sure you make like at least 150 tokens after you win 100 games in clutch time because i'm pretty sure the win the win number 90 is where you get 100 tokens and i think at like win number 20 or 10 or yeah i think it's like win number 25 or 20 you do end up getting 25 tokens so from clutch time you'll make over 100 tokens as well and it's obviously one of the best game modes to play in season 8 so i definitely recommend playing clutch time for tokens and game cards mt hall of fame badges anything you want you probably should be playing clutch time and now guys to talk probably about the best game mode for tokens and that is going to be in domination obviously there's there's a couple other ways we'll talk about later in the video but guys domination especially this best of domination is one of the best in the game for tokens if we just quickly count it up here you guys will be able to see it is going to be 15 tokens per division so that's not that many tokens obviously right that's not that many tokens 15 and uh, 15 uh, tokens per division and there's going to be six divisions so if you do the math there i'm pretty sure 15 times 6 if my math is correct is 90 so that's going to be 90 tokens from just playing domination but then when you guys go to group number seven or the final group you will see there is a reward where you can get 250 tokens after you guys do get 66 stars so if we add 90 to 250 i'm pretty sure that's going to be 340 tokens and then as you guys can see you see those last three games there the bulls the lakers and the lakers i'm pretty sure from each one of those games i think you earn like 50 tokens or i think one of the games is 100 tokens and the other two are 50 so i'm pretty sure from these three games alone you earn like another 200 or 150 tokens so i'd say guys just from the best of domination you're probably going to make over 500 tokens which is crazy because yes it is a long grind but you also get some really good rewards on the way as well you get the end game james harden you get the diamond consumable pack and you just get a bunch of mt tokens you know hall of fame badges as if you guys don't know look how many hall of fame badges you guys get for playing this best of dom you guys can see for every single game you win you will get a hall of fame badge that means you're going to make like 25 or 30 hall of fame badges you're going to make a ton of contracts you're going to make a ton of mt tons of tokens i mean honestly guys the best of domination is a no brainer to play some other pretty good dominations for tokens i don't think season rewind was really the best i mean if you guys want to play you'll still earn some sort of tokens i think from season rewind you'll probably make i don't know maybe 250 300 tokens so not a terrible one to play for some decent tokens i would say dynamic rating i would stay away from really isn't the best for tokens but if you guys can play this nba 75 dom this one gives tons of tons of tokens as well as you guys can see it is going to be 60 tokens per division that is crazy man 60 to uh, 60 tokens per division and there's obviously going to be six divisions so that means 360 tokens just from playing the nba 75 dom but that's not it man that is not it if you guys look at these last three games there's going to be some decent tokens as well so i would say from this uh, this nba 75 dom you can probably make like 375 tokens so if you add that to like the 500 you guys can earn from best of domination we're almost looking at a thousand tokens just from two domination so domination 
definitely going to be the best game mode to play, the best mode to play for tokens in season eight. Some other decent ways to make tokens. I mean, sure, with it offline, if you guys still grinding this mode, right? 20 tokens here, you get 25 tokens there, you get five tokens from the vault three tokens from the vault. If you guys are just grinding it for Elgin Baylor, maybe you're grinding for Dominique, you'll still earn a decent amount of tokens on the way, especially once we get to like the 2000 token range, like 50 tokens is really nice. Obviously 45 tokens. Is this necessarily worth the grind? I would say probably not. But if you guys are grinding for Dominique, you're grinding for Elgin Baylor, you will earn some decent tokens on the way. And then the final way guys is going to be through, you know, upgrading your level to basically through the level 40 grind, you get 30 tokens for level 31. And then you get another 50 tokens from level 36 and then you get another 100 for level 39 so they're going to give you what how many tokens they're going to give you 180 tokens just for getting to level 39 which is obviously going to be really nice there might be some other tokens as well yeah there's another 10 so you're going to earn like 190 to maybe even 200 tokens yeah about 200 tokens for grinding to level 40 so that's obviously going to be worth it and another great way to earn tokens in season 8 but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section down below did i miss any ways to earn tokens just let me know in the comment section down below but if this video did help you guys out make sure to drop a like and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace